Welcome to the tutorial on how to use the Artini Cinema Player. The ACP application for Windows can be downloaded on Microsoft Store. You can find the link on artini.com or simply type Artini on the Microsoft Store itself. The Mac OS version can be downloaded on artini.com website. After installation, open the app and click Log In. Since the access to the player is directly connected to your Artini account, you will now get redirected to artini.com and prompted to log in into your Artini account. After you do, a pop-up window will appear. Simply click open and that's it. Your player will now unlock. There are two main parts on the player homepage. On the left is the player menu and in the middle is the library. I will explain everything in detail. Let's start from the middle, the library. Any films you purchase on artini.com will automatically appear in your player. First, you will see only a foggy image of the film, as it takes some time to encrypt and watermark. Only after this process is completed, you are able to download the film inside your player. You do so by clicking this button. Downloads can be either automatic or manual, depends on your settings, which I will show you later. Back to the library. By clicking on the icon of the film, you are able to display its detail page and see the status of the film, therefore whether it has been downloaded or is waiting to be. You can see just how big the size of the film is, its ID and especially how many licenses have you purchased, which means how many times you can actually screen the film to the public. Under this information is also the license expiry date. In the largest section we can see information about the actual film and a button that will take us to artini.com for more thorough description. Under the button we can see one of the most important parts and that is the key information of your license, which is where will you screen the film, for how many people, the audio and subtitle language, etc. Now for the action buttons. You get the option to play the film immediately, to add to a playlist, which we will talk about in a second, and to delete the film from your disc. At this point, you can try to play the film and test the player controls. Your license will not deduct after only a few minutes of playing. It does after at least 60% of the film length has been played. So go ahead and click play. Once you do, a second window will appear. This window screens the actual film and you can securely drag it on the big screen for the audience to see and control everything from the first dashboard window on your computer. Let's now go back to the main page and look at the left menu. By clicking add local movie, you can add any video files from your computer. For example, your own films and use the ACP as a secure tool to screen them. You can also upload your own jingles and advertisements that you can add to a playlist and screen them with your film altogether. All the files you add will appear in the library as any other Artini film would. Keep in mind though that not every file you choose will be compatible with our security measures. Some files will get rejected by the player. On the other hand, all Artini films are of course compatible, providing the best audio and video quality for your screening. Second button is Playlists. Playlists are collections of films, jingles, ads and any other video files. Before screening, you can prepare your own film lineup, including the ads and jingles in the right order. And when the time comes, you simply hit Play Playlist not having to worry about anything else. To add video files into the playlists, you can simply hover over the films in your library and click Add to Playlist. If you don't have one created yet, click New Playlist, name it and hit OK. Now, if you click Playlists, you can see the one we just created. Click on it and it will display the films we have added. Second option is to open all your playlists, click on the one you want to place video files into and simply drag and drop files from the library into the playlist directly. 
Now all you have to do is to click play playlist. A second play window will appear. Now you can safely drag it onto the screen for the audience to see and relax. With every playlist you, of course, have the option to rename it, to drag and drop video files and therefore change their order, or to remove films from playlists. Playlists are being automatically saved, there is no need for manual saving. Third button is Settings. Let's go over the options. If Automatic Downloads is disabled, you will have to always manually start the download of the purchased film. If enabled, all downloads start automatically once connected to the internet. If Pause Automatic Downloads is disabled, all downloads will continue even when screening a film to the public. If enabled, once you hit play, all running downloads pause. Then we have the language options and the storage option. All films, of course, do download on your disk when it comes to the size. They can be opened only through the player, but they will take up the disk space like any other film would. Here you can set up on which drive should the films get stored. Synchronization period is how often the sync between your Artini account and your player takes place. Simply said, right now, every 15 seconds the player checks whether you have purchased a new film and if it finds something, it will sync the player and start downloading it. Fourth button is cost to device. This will give you the option to connect to an external monitor wirelessly. Simply click the button and choose from the list of the available monitors that has appeared on the right. Pair the two devices and screen the film. Keep in mind though that wireless screening can result in lower quality of the video and audio and is more susceptible to errors during screening. Okay, let's now create and play a playlist together.